Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you an unboxing. The purchase is from Balmain. Um, I always say Balmain, but people always correct me and say it's Balmain. So this is my second purchase from them, but I never buy directly from them. I always buy on different sites, like the first bag that I purchased, it was from Forziri. And then this one I purchased off of eBay, and this one is very pre-owned, and the first one was not. But I will definitely list my first unboxing of my Balmain bag down below if you would like to see that. I just tracked down the UPS truck and got my package. I'm so excited. I could not wait till it was delivered. And with UPS, you never know if they're gonna deliver in the daytime or at night. And I just couldn't wait that long. I've already waited long enough. So I am gonna go ahead and get started now. My address is on the top and on the bottom, but this is the box that it came in. So let's go ahead and get into it. So this is what you see when you open the box. I am so excited to know that it does come with the dust bag. And like I said, I did purchase this off of eBay and it, I purchased it from Mine and Yours is the name of the, I guess, store on there. And it, they just sent me this cute little card and it says, Dear Chantel, thank you for shopping with us. We hope you love your new Balmain crossbody. Love Sabrina. And then it just has that on the back with that beautiful Chanel. This bag was pre-loved, so I'm kind of scared and hopefully it's not in awful, awful shape. I mean like the actual logo part, you'll see in just a second. Let me go ahead and pull it out. I have not seen it. Oh my gosh, it is, it's so beautiful. So I already saw a scratch. Um, I did know that this was pre-owned and I got it at a really, really, really great price and they don't even make this bag anymore. And whenever I first purchased my first one, which I will share with you guys what my first one looks like, I really wanted the black one. And the black one was just retail price on every single website. Nobody had it reselling it for anything less or anything like that. And I just, it was so, so pricey that I was just like, I'll just wait, I'll just wait, I'll just wait. And I ended up finding the other one and it was a really good price. So I bought that one, but I still wanted the black one. It was still on the back of my mind. So I finally found it and let me go ahead and take a closer look at it. The hardware has some really good little scratches that are very noticeable, but honestly, honestly, I'm kind of glad that I found it pre-loved because I feel like when I get it brand new, like I don't even want to use it because I'm scared to put a scratch on it or anything like that. So I'm really glad that I found it pre-loved. It looks in good, really, really good condition to be completely honest. The back looks completely in pristine condition. Like it does not even have a scratch. It's in really good condition. You can see that there. Oh, I'm, I'm loving it. Total loving it. If you guys follow my channel, you guys know that I've had a lot, a lot of really bad unboxings sometimes. And for that reason, I don't really even like true unboxings because I hate to be disappointed and you guys to see me like throw a fit on camera. But usually I'm just very, very, very picky with my bags. And this one, I knew it was gonna come pre-loved, pre you know, and it's in amazing condition. Oh, so the leather smells amazing. It's in great condition. I'm not sure if this is lambskin leather. So I will show it to you up close. I haven't opened it yet, but see, you can kind of see the scratches like on the A, on the L, on the A, on the A, on the M, and on the A and on the L. You can, I don't know if you can see that. I hope you can. See, you can kind of see it there. So see, you can tell that it's used. It looks like it has like, you know, like a few little like makeup or something was on there. But honestly, I'm just gonna wipe it down really good. See, you can see a few little spots there. But honestly, it's in such great condition. I am so happy with this, thank goodness. I am so excited. And of course, my favorite part. Why does it feel like it's a different chain? 
Okay, I totally feel like this is a different chain. So it feels super light, super light and flimsy. I really don't remember my other one being like this. I mean, I don't know. Let me pull the other one out. So I told you guys that I already purchased this because I found this one on sale and it does come, it came with the same dust bag. And this is the beautiful one that I have, but this one is like a, oh gosh, I must've did that. I used it one time and it has like a really good dip in it, but it's like a metallic. It's not like the leather, like this one. See, this one's leather and this one's like a metallic. So I don't know, I do not, I used this one time. Dang, I already, I guess it just scratches really easily because I scratched this too and I used it one time to go to a concert. It's a different strap, I knew it. I could tell just by the weight of the chain. So let me look really closely at this one. Yeah, you can totally tell the difference. Okay, that's a little weird. That's a little weird. This one is super heavy. It doesn't have like Balmain or anything engraved on it, but it's kind of like the YSL chain. It's very heavy, very thick. I mean, it's just, you can just feel that it's expensive. This is what this chain looks like. And I wish you could feel it and see, you can just totally tell that this is not the correct chain. So with the, I am totally bummed. So they must have switched the chain because the bag is authentic, but the chain, I don't know what's going on with that. So you can see here that on this chain that they sent me, it has the little clasp, but it has like a little circle thing right here. I don't know if you can see that. And then I just can't by the way it feels. Like, look at that. Mm, this one's super heavy. So this one looks just as like that one, but this one's so much heavier. You can just feel it. And let me see. You can hear it when you hit when it hits the table. And then this other one, you can feel that it's not heavy at all. Hmm. So I'm gonna have to definitely inbox them about that. They probably didn't know that I have the exact same bag in a different Even color. though I'm not happy with this chain at all, I may or may not just use the blues one strap and you know hook it onto here. It has like, you can use it as a clutch or you have like the option of just taking off the strap. I definitely wanna use this with a strap though. So I don't know if I'm going to keep this strap or what's going to go on with this strap, but I went ahead and put it on the back and I am going to show you some mod shot. So the way I wore this bag when I wore it to the concert, I did it crossbody. So I am 5'6 for reference and it hits me really low. It puts me at a good spot though. Like it didn't bother me or anything. So it fits me right here, it hits me there. And then of course it's, you know, you have the beautiful long tassel. Um, you can also, I guess, wear this like right here on the shoulder. I wouldn't ever wear it like that. And then of course you can take off the strap. The nice detail that it does have is that it says Balmain Paris right here. And I really like that. It looks really nice. And I'm so happy, so happy to have this in black and gold now. Um, I will show them to you up close what they look like. The beautiful blue, the beautiful metallic blue. Like blue is not even my favorite color. And when I saw this one, I was like, I have to have it since I didn't want to pay full retail for this bag. So that's when, whenever I found this one on sale and I purchased this one, I'm still happy with it. I still love it. 
if I decide to um, to sell one, it'll probably be this one. I don't know yet if I want to sell it, but that's what they look like. That's what they look like from the side with the long, beautiful strap. And then from behind, they look just like that. So I gave this one a good ding at the concert, I guess. Maybe it like hit my belt or something, but I wore this one to the J Balvin concert and it just looked fabulous with my outfit. All right, you guys, that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today and for watching. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.